Well, I have to imagine that the guys over at Traxxas are just maxed out on energy drinks because these guys keep coming out with really cool accessories for the Traxxas TRX4. And yes, I know you guys are looking at this over here. You I'm here too, you know. This is the new all-terrain track set, and I am really excited to show this to you guys. I've always wanted to put tracks on a vehicle, and I've had a couple in the past, uh, some tanks and stuff like that, but this is so cool. I mean, this just brings, you know, your Traxxas TRX4 to a whole new level uh, on what you could do with it and customizing it, and there's just so much now that are available for these kits. It's incredible, but let's get into this. I mean, uh, just to start off, how cool is the box? art on this thing we've got uh, some more detailed shots in the back here of it going through some dirt and some snow and stuff like that uh now what's in the box here let me just read this off it's the you know four pre-assembled tracks uh we've got a 17 millimeter wrench which i'll show you in a little bit the instruction guide which is really really important and actually you can go and reuse this box later if you want to go store your tracks put some wheels back on your t-rex4 uh, but there are a bunch of recommendations too you definitely want to go and upgrade your steering servo i, I have to assume these tracks are going to put a lot of stress on the steering of course a bec to go along with that and a metal servo horn and you may be wondering like is it compatible with your trx4 yes it is compatible with all trx4s out there but you may need to do some trimming and some cutting and stuff like that you know obviously these tracks are a lot bigger than wheels and once you start steering uh you know i can imagine it may interfere with the bumpers of the body maybe even the rock sliders on it uh so now all right uh, now i'm going to show you guys i'm going to get into this box it's a pretty neat setup. You're really getting an idea of the quality that Traxxas puts out, even with just the packaging. Check this out. The tracks, they're gonna be run through the dirt and grime and stuff like that, and they come packaged in this nice styrofoam uh, casing here, basically. So let me just show you this really quick. These are the instructions. Uh, definitely read through the instructions. <laughs> Look, it even says, please read. Um, and then all of these, because there's some important information in here, on running the tracks properly. You know what, let me get some of this stuff out of here so you can check this out while I'm talking about uh, the, some of the things you need to know. All right, so there's there's one of the tracks. We'll just show you one of those right now. Let me get that in the camera for you. All right, so these are the things you guys need to know about this. Now, as I said, it works on all TRX4s, um, but if you have a TRX4 with the shifting transmission, you should always drive it in low gear. Uh, if you're driving something like a TRX4 Sport uh, that has a single speed, you have to really pay attention uh, to this little box right here in the instruction manual. And it basically tells you uh, what gearing to use on there and what batteries to to use on there so you don't damage your electronics and stuff like that uh, so just wanted to really drive that home with you guys this is going to be some really cool experiences you're going to have with this stuff but you know you have to use it properly all right now here is the track itself and how cool is this now there are specific tracks one for each corner there's a front right front left rear left rear right you get the idea um and so they need to go on the proper positions and and it's really simple to install these they come pre-assembled obviously uh and all you have to do is screw the wheel you know take your wheel off screw the wheel nut on and then there's a shock absorber on the back that needs to be mounted to the portal so assembly is pretty easy you know it should probably take you under uh, 20 minutes to do it but let's talk a little bit about the track system itself uh, you know, we've got the rubber tread on the outside. It's got this kind of chevron groove to it, so it should give it lots of traction. Kind of a firm compound rubber here. So because of that, you really need to let the track acclimate to the type of condition you're going to be running in. Um, you know, if you're running in cold weather, you want to wait for this to uh, basically cool down. You know, if it's if, if it's in your car, in your house or whatever, and you go out somewhere to run it, uh, wait for it to cool down because that's going to be the best performance for it. Uh, now the inside here, this is basically all the plastics that you see on a normal Traxxas vehicle. Uh, you know, you've got the cool gray plastics here. We've got uh, some black plastic arms and stuff like that. The center section screws together. There is a massive sprocket in the center here, and that's what actually grabs the track. It's got, uh, there's like small teeth on the bottom of the track. It fits into the notches of the sprocket, so that makes up that assembly. There is a huge seal bolt bearing back here, um, and that's what the center section uh, rotates on. We've got the steel insert in here, and that's what the wheel bolts do. So it's a nice sturdy mount and uh, you know, just tons of hardware in here holding everything together uh, to make sure nothing fails on this. I mean, I just love the look of it too. All the little details, really nice. I mean, there's like little rivets and stuff like that. And uh, the arms, uh, they have nice webbing in them and everything. And then we've got the bottom roller wheels and they kind of pivot and move around. Um, and actually in the front, there is a tensioner 
Um, so if you need to go and tighten up the tension for whatever reason, I mean, it comes preset from the factory. You don't need to worry about it. But if you do need to go and set the tension, you could actually pull the screw out here and then pull the track off. And that's that's how you take it apart if you do need to maintain it, uh, which you're gonna have to do. Um, you'll be able to pull this arm off, pull the tread off, and then this front arm assembly comes out. And there's a screw in here and you basically like unscrew this front truck, uh, you know, one turn, two turns to adjust the tension on the track there. So pretty neat how they integrated, you know, a tensioner system into it as well. Um, the, the rollers down here are plastic. The, the sprocket up there is plastic. Uh, and then you can see, I mentioned there was a huge ball bearing in here before, uh, but down here at the roller wheels, we have oil light bushings. So they kind of, you know, self-maintain. They need, do need a little bit of maintenance, but uh, I can totally understand why Traxxas went with an oil light bushing in here. It's just going to be better for all around use, especially if you're going through mud and water and stuff like that. I mean, these would just get soaked in and to replace all those bearings at some point would probably be ridiculously expensive. So it really makes sense that they went with a bronze oil light bushing there. So I like that. And then there is a sprung assembly here. There's a little spring in there. Uh, and so as you're rolling over stuff, it keeps, uh, you know, tension on there and allows some flex in the track. And then, uh, oh, I need to talk to you guys about the shock. So there is a shock in the back here to help damp the track. It does mount to the portal axles with just two screws, but it's pre-set up from the factory. It's basically like a small shock that we've seen on like a Latrax rally or something like that, just fit to here. And they are set up specifically for where they go on the vehicle. The rears actually have a limiter in it and just helps with clearances and stuff like that. You can go and remove that if you want to, but you may have to adjust for clearances elsewhere on the vehicle. So just be aware of that. And then, uh, oh, one more thing. There are differences between the front and rear track. So this is a rear track here and this is a front track. And you can kind of see there is just a spacing difference. Uh, the rear track is just a bit longer, I guess you could say, than the front tracks, but the really nice stuff. I love this. I can't wait to drive this. Let me get these all out so you can see them. There we go. And then here is the tools and hardware that it comes with. So it comes with a 17 millimeter uh, socket here, basically like a wheel nut wrench, and then the hardware to screw on that bracket I told you about. But again, these things just look so cool, guys. Why don't I head over to the workbench? I'll show you really quickly how easy they go on. And then of course, we're going to go outside and drive it. So I've decided to use our Traxxas Lifted Bronco project to test out the tracks. And one of the reasons is it already has the lift kit on there, which gives the track some extra clearance. And the other thing is I think it's gonna look pretty cool. But the third reason is my T-Rex 4 Sport is kind of out of commission right now because, well, spoiler alert, there is gonna be a project on that truck as well. So if you wanna see that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss that. That's gonna be a cool series. But let's get on to swapping out the tracks here. And the first step up is obviously to remove the wheel. I've got my power driver here with a seven millimeter nut driver on it. I think I'm also just gonna need a two millimeter speed bit uh, to get the rest of this job done. So let me get this wheel off really quick. Right, I'll just take the wheel nut out, put the tire under there. Let me also get this body off to make my life a little bit easier. All right, now the next step is to remove the two screws on the portal axle uh, for that bracket on the track. So you're gonna need the two millimeter driver for that. Flip this thing over here to gain access to it. So I'll take this other wheel off too. All right, so I gotta pull out the two lower ones, not the absolute bottom, but the two lower ones. Now I'll flip this back over, move the bracket to the side, slip the track onto the hex, just rotate it a little bit, there we go. Actually, I found out that the wheel wrench won't go inside that 17 millimeter nut there, so what this wrench actually does is, it allows you to take that 17 millimeter cap off, basically, and then gain access to that metal insert there, uh, where basically you go and tighten the nut down again. So now I could go and put this wheel nut in. Yep, sometimes I learn as I go along as well. So now I could go and put this wheel cap back on. I've got that wheel nut tightened down nice and tight. Get this back in. There we go, that's nice and tight now. Now I gotta flip it back over so I could go and put the bracket in the proper place. And remember, these tracks do have their own specific corners that they go on. So just make sure you keep an eye on where it's going. And now you just flip this bracket over and you'll see it just kind of snaps onto the portal. There are two snaps actually. And now you can go and put the longer screws back in to hold it in place. 
There we go. All right, one down. And that was pretty simple, pretty quick. How cool does that look? Check that out. That is just incredible. I love the way that looks. Now I just can't wait to put the rest of them on and show you this thing with the body on. It's going to look so cool. All right, I'll wrap this up. This thing just looks sick, doesn't it? I wasn't sure how it was going to look with the Bronco body, but I really like it. I bet you it looks really cool on the TRX4 Sport as well, but uh, I think it looks awesome here. And uh, these were actually really easy to install. The only little, you know, slight hiccup was getting those two millimeter screws in. Uh, you know, once you did one side, getting to the other side with a regular hex wrench was a little difficult. I wound up using a ball driver to get in there. You could probably use a small L Allen wrench as well, um, but that was really the only problem. I went ahead and I put uh, the metal servo arm in this. If you followed our Bronco series, I didn't have it, but it's in there now. And so now basically this thing is ready to go. So let's go see what it could do.
Well, Traxxas did it again. They came out with another product that just elevates your experience with the TRX4, and these new all-terrain tracks are a whole new world of fun. Now, what they're really meant for is going over sand and mud and through snow, and so what I did was I went down to a couple of local parks trying to find that type of terrain. No snow, it's springtime right now, but, uh, you know, just trying to find some cool stuff to go through with this. I was able to find some water to go through, some sand and some, some dirt, and of course some rock as well, just to give you guys an idea of what this thing could tackle and um, you know what it, just driving it is a lot of fun when I was going through the sand and at that small beach area that you saw in the action you know it was cool just watching kind of the sand just churn off the back of it and it had no problems going through that sand uh, it was wet loose sand you know it's all about the surface area of the track you know with a rubber tire truck you just have a small contact patch on each corner and now with the treads you've got this large rectangle patch of traction and so it just goes right through that. And then when I went through the water and stuff, uh, you know, again, just positive traction through there. Even when I was going with rocks and tree branches that were down in the water, this truck was just going right up and over it, not having any problems. Uh, up loose dirt and stuff, it just churns through the dirt. You know, you can just see each corner just grabbing and just churning up whatever you're crawling over. And it does actually well over some rock too. And that's not its primary intended use, but it actually does pretty well. It, it actually impressed me over some of the rock it was able to climb up and over. You know, with a rubber tire truck, you get a lot of you know, tire collapsing and tire give that helps you get over a, a rock and stuff like that where this you know these uh, treads are a bit more square very like hard edge um, and so when you're turning on that, things are a bit more abrupt and stuff. But it actually impressed me climbing over a, a number of different things, even some uh, ledges and stuff like that, I was able to get it up and over. But back to the dirt and the sand and stuff that I was going through, you know, just climbed up through that stuff. I wish I found some mud to go through, but you know what, what I'll do is I will revisit these tracks when I do that TRX4 Sport Series and uh, hopefully find some more cool terrain to go through then. Uh, but overall guys, these tracks are a lot of fun. Again, it's just a whole new world of experiences that you could you know have with this thing especially if you crawl in an area where there's a lot of sand or you know even in winter time I, I can't believe I'm gonna say this but I actually wish winter was still around so I could try these things out in the snow I think it would be a lot of fun out there and you know with all this weight down here at the bottom it actually handles really well you know when you're going over that loose stuff and, and you know the weight just keeps everything planted and uh, you don't have to worry too much about it tipping but you, you know obviously you, the CG on this is a bit higher so you really got to watch your angles you know if you're crawling rocks and stuff like that or side hilling you know through some loose dirt or something like that so you know you do have to be aware of, of how you drive it is a bit different of a thought process when you are driving it uh, you know if you do go out and try to tackle some rocks and stuff like that which I did you know I went to try to you know drive over something that I knew I could do with a rubber tire truck uh, wasn't able to do it this but overall it was a lot of fun um, any problems with it no not really I mean if you do crawl through rocks you got to be very careful that you don't don't tuck a tread underneath a ledge or something like that because what will happen is a sprocket will just start spinning inside of the tread and you don't want to wear down the, the components too fast. Uh, when the treads do get slick and you do try to go up on rock, you know, you get some tread spin. I mean, it's a, it's a wet track on a rock. Um, and then, you know, the only other issue I had is I did get a rock caught up in the assembly and it did knock a tread off and all I had to do was push the tread back on and, and I was good to go. But other than that, totally fine. These things are a lot of fun and, you know, if you are just a TRX4 nut, you gotta have everything you know, for your TRX4 to have every type of experience, you know, these treads are really a great thing to add to your collection. Man, I can't wait to see what Traxxas comes out with next.